Hey y'all, Bennett Sullivan here with the Banjo Studio. I'm here with a really cool Billy String solo, and I'm demoing this Collins guitar. This is an OM2HT, and it's a really, really great rosewood guitar. Mmm. So beautiful, and you can get it at thebanjostudio.com. It's a great guitar. I've been having a lot of fun playing it lately, um, and I just wanted to share what it sounds like in the bluegrass context. It's not a dreadnought guitar. It's a it's a smaller body, um, OM style, and uh, it sounds really great playing bluegrass. So you can hear me playing rhythm guitar and the lead part for this Billy String solo. And you can watch the Billy String solo. He plays a little faster than I do. I'm just not there with my right hand yet, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it. He plays a little faster, and the link is in the description below. But yeah, check out the Banjo Studio for this guitar. I just wanted to share with you a couple li different licks that Billy does in this solo. Um, the first one is... Which is a really cool one that you can just kind of loop forever um, and he loops it a little bit in this solo um, but you just start out and you you either do a hammer on or a slide from the sixth fret to the seventh fret on the first string and you play that eighth fret note um, that G note on the second string eighth fret and you play an open E string and then you play the uh, ring finger on the eighth fret first string open E string again and then do that hammer on. And you can pick it or you can hammer on. And then he goes up here. And he kind of does like a tremolo-ish thing. And that's another one of the licks I want to show you. It starts out like this with your index finger on the 10th fret, 1st string, and your middle finger on the 11th fret, 2nd string. And then you're going 11, 12 on the 2nd string, and then play that 1st string note. And then you're going to um, go up to the 12th fret with your ring finger. Pull off from the 12th to the 10th fret on the 1st string, and then you're going to play... 11th to 12th on the second. It's another one of those loop licks. That you can keep playing over and over again. And you can get the tab for the transcription of the entire solo and these two licks isolated if you sign up for the Banjo Studio newsletter. So just go ahead and do that and you'll have the tab for all of this lesson, um, all of this solo that Billy Strings did at Lollapalooza. It's a great one, and this is an awesome guitar, so go check out the Banjo Studio and have fun learning this solo. My name is Bennett Sullivan, and thanks for watching.